All right, so I'm here with the uh, king of Rubik's Cubes, Judge Romano's very own Jonathan Sue, Mr. Sue, whatever you want to call him. So um, I just wanted to ask you how much you like Rubik's Cubes. I, I love Rubik's Cubes. That's something which uh, is a, a huge passion of mine. So uh, when did you start solving your own Rubik's Cubes? When did you first learn how to solve one? Well, it's, it's a funny story. I think about uh, perhaps seven years ago, I was given a Rubik's Cube by a, a friend over Christmas. He gave me a, a really weird Rubik's Cube, and I almost threw it away. But before I, th I did that, I told myself, look, I'm a math teacher, right? I love math, and if, if I got stumped by Rubik's Cube before, I will not let myself, you know, stump again. So I, I decided to just conquer the fear, and I did two weeks of research online and I finally was able to solve one. But what I didn't, what surprised me then was after I learned how to solve one, my confidence just skyrocketed. And uh, I, I found myself being able to see things a lot clearer. So I, I feel that Rubik's Cube, it's, it's, a very, it's a relaxing thing to do for me. So what's the fastest time you've uh, had to solve a Rubik's Cube? Oh, fastest time. I'm not that fast, you know, as you get older, you know, fingers are not really very nimble. So my fastest is about two minutes. Unlike some of the kids here who can really do very, very fast. So what mainly interests you about him? Like, what's your favorite thing? My, my favorite thing with Rubik's Cube, it's, it's, it's something that it requires you to, to think. It requires you to problem solve. You look at it and you tell yourself, okay, so how can I solve this? this cube that is so difficult, that has taken the world by storm for so long. And I find myself being sucked into this, this uh, the magic, the power of Rubik's Cube. Because it's to me, you know, colors and its motor, it develops motor skills and it helps you to think critically, which I think it's a huge thing for a lot of kids uh, nowadays is to to be able to help them master that uh, critical thinking skill. So I think Rubik's Cube goes a long way. So are there any other ways that benefits you, like in the outside world, math or anything? Oh, it's a, it's a good party trick, you know. You know. A lot of girls like, ah, well, you can solve Rubik's Cube, so that's kind of fun. But other than that, um, but I, I, I enjoy Rubik's Cube. It's something that I do on my spare time. Is there any other type of puzzles you like to solve other than Rubik's Cubes? Um, there's some other cube puzzles that are like, like Tetris, you know, um, like Sudoku. I love Sudoku. It's something that I do every night before I go to bed. So it's, it's, it's fun. Now he's going to solve his own Rubik's Cube? I'll try, right? No promise, but uh, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, okay. I know a lot of people can do this really fast, but, uh, you know, but I'm not really very good. There are a lot of kids who can really, really do well. But uh, when I was younger, I used to have one, and all I could do was to tear out the stickers and then put it back, and I felt I really you know, do a pretty good job, but now, now I'm just glad that I'm able to do this. So you used to be a cheater? Well, no, I wouldn't call that a cheater. I used to think that it's something that's really, really frustrating. You know, since 1980, when it first came out, you know, it took the whole world by storm, and, uh, and this is, this is, this is fun. Okay, I think... Minute 23.